Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and in today's video we'll take a look at recording and editing cool time-lapse videos like these. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Movavi for sponsoring this video. In the second half of this video, we'll take a look at how to edit a time-lapse video in Movavi's Video Editor Plus. The traditional definition of a time-lapse is a series of images combined to create a moving picture on a video timeline. It gives an otherwise unseen view of time such as sunsets, clouds moving by, etc. To film a time-lapse, you set up your camera to take still images at specific intervals. These images are then played back in a video timeline at usually about 24 or 30 frames or images every second. This speed makes it appear as a moving picture or a video to the human eye. So for example, if you set your camera to take a picture every second, you end up with 60 pictures for every minute. When you play these pictures back at 30 frames per second, you end up with 2 seconds of video for every minute. The intervals depend on what you're filming. For example, if you're shooting busy streets or fast moving crowds, set your intervals to 1 to 2 seconds between images. To show movement of clouds, depending on the speed of the clouds, set the interval at about 5 to 10 seconds between frames. For sunrises and sunsets, set your camera up to take a picture every 10 seconds. Next, you either want your camera to be stationary or moving or rotating at a consistent speed. You can either set your camera up on a tripod or if you want a little bit of movement in your time lapse, use a dolly or a slow rotating platform such as an egg timer. Pick a location for your time lapse, set the appropriate time interval and press record. Now let's take a look at how to convert all our still images into a time lapse video. This can be done on most nonlinear editors, including the Movavi Video Editor Plus. If you're interested in trying this software, click on the link in the description for a free trial. First thing you need to do is import all your still images into the editor. Click the Import button in the top right corner and select Add Media Files. Click your first image and shift click your last image to select all of them. Click Open. This imports all your time lapse images into your timeline. By default, each image clip is 4 seconds long. For a time lapse video, we need to change the duration of all the clips to 1 frame each. Press Command A to make sure all your clips are selected and click on the gear icon to open the video settings. Change the clip duration from 4 seconds to 1 frame. Now let's export our time lapse as a video file. Click the export button in the bottom right corner and select your export settings. For this example, I want to add some artificial camera movement to this time lapse, so I'll select 4K for my export setting. Click start to export your video. Now let's add some music and maybe a fake camera pan to make our time lapse a little more exciting. With all the clips still selected, click on the trash button to clear your timeline. Click the import button again, navigate to your new time lapse video and import it back into Movavi. Next, since the source clip is 4K and our final export will only be HD, we can use the extra resolution to add a fake camera pan to the time lapse. On the left hand side, click the pan and zoom button, select pan and click the add button. Down on our timeline, you have two control points, one for the start and one for the end of your pan. Click and drag your end control point to the end of the clip and make sure your start point is at the beginning. Double click on the start control point and resize and reposition your start window. Next, double click on the end control point and select your end frame. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. And finally for our last step, let's add some background music to our time lapse. You can either add your own background music or use one of the music tracks included in Movavi. To use one of the included tracks, select Music and download one of the included tracks. Once downloaded, drag and drop your music track into the audio lane of your timeline. Line up the start of your audio and video tracks. Next, with the audio track still selected, move the playhead to the end of the video clip and press Command B to split your audio track. Select the second half and press Delete. Let's take a look at our finished product. Once again, I'd like to thank Movavi for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try the Movavi Video Editor Plus, I will leave a link to their website in the description. 
And if you're interested in seeing more tutorials on this topic, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.